What's going on guys? My new song Hold Me just passed 100,000 streams, so I thought I would hop on here and do a little track breakdown. I'm currently in Bali, Indonesia. I've got these beautiful rice terraces behind me and um, yeah, let's, uh, let's dive into it. First we'll hop into the vocal groupings. I got these vocals off of a website called vocalfly.com. They're constantly updating new vocals and a lot of really talented songwriters and vocalists um, work with this website. And um, yeah, I got the vocals for a pretty affordable price. But I wish I could get, keep this, but the point of this video is to uh, you know, help out aspiring producers and DJs and show a little insight. So yeah, when I purchased the vocals, they were pretty much already processed, um, so I didn't really have to do much to them. I just did like some little like special effects for like atmosphere and stuff. We have this vocal that's kind of looping. Me go, me go, me go, me go, me go. This is like the full vocal stack right here. Ooh, ooh, when you hold me, all the stars are closer. So it's really cool when I purchased these vocals, they gave me the wet and the dry stems, threw them in, made sure that they were all in time. And then to add some more stereo width, um, I did one take and I threw it fully 50 right, so that when you're listening in a, in a stereo environment, that you would hear this vocal only coming in at the right. And then another take only coming in on the left. And then another one that is stereo, so it's coming through both right in the center. And that's pretty much all I did with the vocals. I, I didn't really do much processing. Going into the kick and bass. This is the kick loop, pretty simple. For the bass, I wanted to make sure it had a large frequency range. So I made sure that I stacked as many that I could in different frequencies so that it would sound good on your phone, in your car, in a freaking club, and uh, pretty much bump everywhere. This is the mid bass. You gotta get a sub in there. And then a bass synth to kind of cover the top end. Now into the synths. The synths completely make the song what it is. Um, so I made sure I spent a lot of time working on the synths and stacking them and getting the sound that I was really going for. So this is the first layer of the synth. It is a lot more wider and atmospheric and a lot of reverb and a lot of delay and a lot of saturation. I just wanted it to sound fucking massive. So that was layer one, and then layer two is pretty much the same thing, but I just like EQ'd out some of the low end and took down some of the saturation and the reverb and delay. Just super tight. Now going into the pads and synths, I have eight layers going here, and um, the biggest thing that took me the longest amount of time was to make sure all the sounds kind of flowed together and they weren't too clashy and making sure that the melodies flowed with each other and um, wasn't too distracting. All the pads and all the synths in this song were made with serum. Now going into the piano chords, I did one piano synth that's kind of just more of just like a pad, and then one little piano pluck and a classic sounding piano. But when you stack them, it's fucking chef's kiss. All right, now going into the drums, I wanted the drums to pop out a little bit more, so I pretty much did a little saturator over the entire group of drums. And um, yeah, just got some pretty basic samples off of Splice. And um, yeah, just tweaked some things, did some automation. For the drums, I like to do a lot of auto filter automation, so it kind of just makes it sound a lot smoother and satisfying when the drums are being introduced for either fills or for some snare rolls. I feel like effects are really huge on this song just because it's so dramatic and atmospheric and you kind of just want to feel the, the swoops and the little wishes coming in and out. I made sure to sprinkle them in as many times as I could. Thank you guys so much for watching my first ever song breakdown video. If you think I should do more of these, leave a comment down below. And um, yeah, go stream my fucking new album, More Life, baby. Love y'all.